Good morning to my tens of followers. Today we got a little bit of a special edition. What we have right here is Mazda's newest color. The color code is 46G. It is known as machine gray. What Mazda does with this color is it's supposed to make it look like it's liquid metal when it's in the sunlight. It's such a fine metallic, you're not supposed to be able to see any of the metal flake in it, but it's just supposed to kind of just keep transitioning. I think that it's an awesome color and I like it and quite frankly when I got a trade in my facade here I think I might buy a Mazda just like this and try to get it with this color. The reason why we're here today is this is what's known as a quad stage color. Most colors are you have your base coat and you have your clear coat. Base is your color coat. This requires a sealer, clear coated sealer, flat sanding the sealer, putting the leafing aluminum on there and then clear coating it again quad stage four steps I have to do all because this little scratch now I know I've shown you in other videos how we do repairs to bumpers as well as body panels so I'm gonna skip, skip that step and when I'm ready for painting again I'll come back to you guys again now as I'm doing these you might have seen me spraying a few times and wonder just what is a spray gun what's in a spray gun well, I've torn down one of my SATA 5000s here to kind of show you all the components. Here, we have the main body of the gun, which is what you generally see me handing. The handle's connected, there's a little depressor in there that lets air in there. I have the fluid tip taken off, which you can see right through now. And the paint comes in right through there, down, look, 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 and then out through the fluid tip, which is this guy right here. This little thing is called your fluid tip. The paint needle sits inside of the tip like so. And when you pull the trigger, it pulls this needle back, allowing fluid to come in around the needle, go out that little passage, and out the front of the spray gun through the air cap. What this air cap has is all of these little holes in there. And as you're pulling the trigger, Air is being forced out of these horns, as well as these other little horn holes, and it's atomizing it into a nice six inch pattern, roughly. Six to eight inches. Putting the gun stick back together isn't hard either. Simply you take your needle. Ah, see? Messing with the video almost messed me up. First, we put in our fluid tip, because otherwise we'll damage our needle. Use our handy dandy solder wrench. Give her a nice and tight, not too tight, so you don't want to be fighting with it trying to get it off to clean it. Now you simply put your needle back in the gun. There's a spring here on the end of the fluid adjustment. Feed her right in. So I just come with this nice stopper here, so when you find out how much you like, how much fluid you like coming out of the gun. Simply set it there and forget it no matter how many times you take it off. Finally, we put it back on the air cap. And there you go. That is basically the in and outs of a spray gun. We're in the booth now. The repair has been done on the bumper. My hair may be completely different than what you remember just a couple of minutes ago, but pay no attention to that. That is just purely coincidental. Here we are in the booth. As I've said before, scratches have been taken care of. They're now a primer. The bumper cover is masked up. And we're ready to do the first part of our quad stage paint job. Now remember, like I just said earlier, quad stage paint job is gonna have a sealer, a clear, then a base while leaving aluminum, and then another clear. So, what I've done, I've done the repair. And now I've prepped the entire bumper. There's a lot more to painting than just spraying paint on something. What I need to do is I need to put all these scuffs and scratches in the paint job so that the paint has something to mechanically adhere to. If I just sprayed this without scuffing or without scuffing well enough, what you'll have is you'll have the paint start to peel off. I'm sure everyone has seen this on bumpers and cars before where the paint is starting to peel off. That's because there was not a good enough prep job. So. What I usually scuff with is what's called a gray scuff pad. It's a ultra fine to a fine 
grit, usually about 1,000 to 1,200 grit to get a good prep for you. When you're doing your base coat, something like 600 to 800. So here's where we are. I'll get you after I get the sealer laid down, and then we'll go from there. So now I've put on the G7 sealer, which I'll show you in a second, and then clear coated over the bumper cover to do the first two stages of our quad stage paint job. So looking at the bumper cover, here you can see the, the sealer almost blends very, very nicely into the actual color of the bumper. That's not an accident, like I've mentioned in other videos, if you've not seen one. If you pick a sealer color, we got three of them, really, three plus two. So we have five that we can make, from white all the way to this really dark gray color. And then we just have a neutral gray in between, and then you kind of mix the other twos together. But getting back to the main point, the closer your sealer is to the color, the better time that you're gonna have when it's time to do your base coat blend. So looking here, it blends in really nice. And now the next step, it, PPT is very, very specific about this. I have to take 1200 grit sandpaper, dry sand it flat, and then I have to use Trizac, they actually specifically say that name, 1000 grit wet sanded on a DA to clean up any pigtails or anything that I have. Now why do I have to do this? If you look really closely, you can see that there's texture on the bumper cover. As a painter, I try my hardest to make sure there's none, but it's just the way that as a spray gun sprays, it atomizes. You're going to get what's known as orange peel. And if you really can't see it in the bumper cover, but you want a good example of what I'm talking about, go pick up an orange, look at the rind and how it looks at in the exact color. That's an effect that happens when you spray cars. So now, the entire point of sanding it is to get this all flat, all that orange peel out of there, so that when I put down the third step, the leaping aluminum is not gonna land funny and lay all crazy directions. It's gonna be nice and completely flat. So once we get that done, I'll tell you what the fourth step is. So now, I've done the color code on here, which is just a leaping aluminum. What's happening with this is, the actual sealer that you saw me apply earlier bleeds through the paint on some of the side tones and you can kind of see through it. So looking at the color now, this is the actual aluminum flake that's applied. It's a very, very, very fine flake. This piece has not been clear coated yet. And that's actually the next step of our quad stage paint job. So next I'll mix up our clear, and then we'll clear this thing, bake it, put it back on the Mazda. So in a couple of my videos you might have seen during the time lapses of the painting, the lights go out and me walking around with what looks like a flashlight, and you might have wondered what that is. This is a sunlight. What it does is it gives me the ability to see what the paint will actually look like in sunlight or a very good replica thereof. So let's show you how it works. Going into the booth, the way that we use this one we're supposed to have the lights out. Turn on the light. Turn on the light. And this lets me get a very good representation of how the color will look out in the real light. So what this allows me to do is to see how my blend edge is, to make sure that I have no areas that have no coverage, and then go from there, which means that I'm ready for clear coat. So an interesting fact when you're painting this bumper cover, normally when you're painting, what you do is you just all march the way of the panel, like if it's a panel like this bumper, I'll just start here and kind of do 70% uh, overlap with my color. With this specific color, the spot stage color from Mazda, what I have to do is, yes, I'll do my normal overlap, but then I have to do what's called a double cross coat. Then I have to come the other direction and using that same overlap, I have to go around panel that I, area that I painted one more time. Now in a metallic like this we also do what's called a control coat. When I'm spraying some of the metallic might get modeled and might kind of all group together as it lands on the panel. So what we normally do is we turn down the air pressure going into our gun, take your distance back further and just kind of mist a coat on there and it evens out all the metallic. 
when I do that on this specific color, what I have to do is a triple cross coat. And so I have to go my normal way, I have to go this way, and then I have to come back one more time that way. It's a lot of work and a lot of technique to get it done right. And now here's the other thing. When you're doing a blend on a panel, one of the tricks is that, say, like we know that my repair was over here. Where my first coat of paint ended, when I came with my first coat, I went to about maybe about right here. My second, about right here. My third, about right here. And on my control coat, it ended around here. So what that's doing is, because this color is so opaque and so translucent anyways, the further I come, the easier it all just kind of blends together and you don't see the transition from one color to the other. No paint match is perfect. It's blendable. And the closer I can get to that, the easier time I'll have blending it. So when someone comes and says that, well, I gotta blend the door, that's what that means. So all right, guys, I hope you picked up a lot of information from this one. Next video, we'll be wrapping it up so we can set her on her way. Now, we've cleared the rear bumper for the Quad Stage Mazda CX-9. I did a blend on it. I'm not sure at first if you're going to be able to blend this color because originally I was told you gotta paint the entire side of a vehicle when you do it. However, I'll let you guys be the judge. Here's the vehicle. So that pretty much wraps up our quad stage Mazda that we did. It took a lot more time than it normally takes to paint a bumper because you had to put down the sealer, clear over the sealer, flat sand the clear, put on the leafing aluminum in a very specific fashion and then do the clear and then put the bumper back on. So it takes about twice as much time to do a vehicle like this. However, like I've said before, I absolutely love this color and I'm pretty sure I'm going to buy this when I'm done with the lease with my facade. So, Thanks for watching this episode, guys. I look forward to seeing you again soon.